In this image based question, we have been asked to identify the reflex which is shown in the given figure. Whether it's a Moro's reflex, Babinski reflex, parachute reflex, or a grasp reflex. Now, the answer for this question is the Moro's reflex. So, how do we identify this reflex or the other reflexes? And what is important from this topic from exam point of view? All of this will be discussed shortly. However, let's first have a look at what is the Moro's reflex. So, Moro's reflex is elicited when there is any sudden movement of the neck. So, if you can see in this image, although the child is being held by the parent, the neck of the child is unsupported. So, this is what initiates the response. And what happens in this reflex is, when you try to lift the baby from a supine to a slightly uh, upright position without uh, supporting the head of the child and it is allowed to fall back a short distance, the uh, infant automatically uh, abducts his arms and extends his arms. So abduction is when you move the arms away from the body. So this is abduction. If the arms are moving towards the body, that is known as adduction. So in the Moro's reflex, we see abduction of the arms, we see extension of the arms and uh, so th this is how we can identify that this is a Moro's reflex. So the first is the neck is unsupported, abduction of the arm and extension of the arms. Why is this important? Why is this uh, reflex important to elicit is because it gives us an indication about the muscle tone of the child. Also because uh, the arms of the child are raised, we can see if the response is symmetrical or asymmetrical. In case there is any weakening of the muscle tone or any injury to the uh, shoulder or the arms, then this reflex will not be symmetrical. So this is what is important to note. Uh, also, this is a reflex that is present from birth. So these are some of the reflexes are present from birth. These are all monitored during the neurological checkup of the child is to see whether uh, everything is fine. So this is one of the reflexes that is also checked because it is present at birth and it usually disappears within two or three months. Now, what are the other uh, reflexes which are mentioned in the options and how we can identify them? Now, the Babinski reflex is when you stroke the palmar uh, plantar surface of the heel of the child from the uh, heel to the toes. When you stroke it like this, the infant will flex the toes. So, there is flexion of the toes. Now, this is only seen in infants up to 12 months of age. So, this is normal in infants up to 12 months of age. However, if this is seen in adults, it is pathological. So, in adults, a negative Babinski reflex is seen. That is, instead of flexing the toes, they curl the toes. So, this is what is important to note. Such, uh, such questions could be asked in the examination. The other reflex that was mentioned was the palmar grasp reflex. Now, this is elicited when you just... Uh, a stroke or when you hold uh, when you place your finger within the palm of the infant the the child closes uh, tries to close his uh, fist so this is known as a palmar grasp reflex whereas the parachute reflex now parachute reflex is not present at birth it develops around 6 months after birth and it is uh, it is present uh, after uh, after that, so it never disappears. Unlike the other reflexes, like the Babinski reflex or the Moro's reflex, which disappears uh, after a few months, the parachute reflex never disappears. So, what is the parachute reflex? It's a protective reflex. If a child is, uh, uh, if you try to imitate a child trying to be thrown onto the couch, the child will extend their arms in order to cushion the blow. This can be elicited either in the forward direction or in the backward direction where the child is trying to protect himself from falling. So this is a protective reflex. So what are some of the other questions that can be expected from this topic? So first is an image based question can be given where you are asked to identify a particular uh, reflex. So for this it's important to note and see how each of the uh, reflexes look like or how they are elicited. So that is important. Another, th another question that they can ask you is when do these reflexes appear? So like I said some are present from birth, some appear later after that. So they could give you a, a, a series of questions and they can ask you uh, which of the following is not present at birth.
so the answer for that could be parachute reflex if the other options are of the, the options which are present from birth so they can ask you when do they appear they can ask you when do they disappear so like i said the parachute reflex never disappears however there are some reflexes which are only seen in infants and as the child grows they are uh, they disappear so they can also ask you that the timing of their appearance or the timing of their disappearance and lastly they can ask you what is the clinical implication or the clinical importance of certain um, reflexes so this is what is important from exam point of view from this topic